All right, you're here for the tea. Let's just get into it. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Raina Daily. I make videos on my testimony and the things that the Lord is sharing and speaking to me in this season of life. So if you're into that kind of thing, please subscribe to this channel. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. So I know you guys are here. You're wanting the quick, the easy, all the tips, all the tricks on how to lose weight fast. Well, this video is not going to have the answers for everybody. Sorry to burst your bubble. It will have the answers for a lot of people and it'll help people who've kind of struggled with fluctuations and stuff like that. I do you want to put a disclaimer out there real quick for anybody who is watching this video? I am not a dietitian, a doctor, any of those things. I am a simple human being who really got into health, fitness, well-being, all of those things. And I'm going to be sharing my testimony on that and how I lost 65 pounds in a year. So let's go ahead and get in the video. At my largest, my biggest, I weighed 220 pounds. Now granted, this was the day I delivered my last baby, so my third child. I clocked in at 220 pounds. And it was definitely nerve-wracking for somebody who struggled with weight um, and my appearance for pretty much most of my life. So seeing that number and realizing I'd gotten to this point was nerve wracking. I also realized I was obviously pregnant and I was dealing with a lot of grief and that kind of thing, which I'll get into a little bit deeper into the video. So give yourself a little bit of grace. If you're looking at the scale right now, or you, if you've been in that spot and you've just felt overwhelmed, but the reason I put the number out there is because I want to show you guys, you know, how I got to where I'm at now and show you the progression. So after I had my baby, I stayed around 200 pounds, 220, 200 pounds up until my dad passed away. So I had my daughter in January and my dad passed away in June. So I pretty much stayed the same way for six months. And he was going through cancer, stage four cancer. It was really hard. I was going down there to visit him. I stayed with him on hospice. And I just was not eating very well. Um, one thing that I do struggle with is stress eating. I know a lot of people struggle with this. And I was also eating a lot of really bad, just junk food, full of junk. So just not in the best place physically, mentally, a lot of things. But and one thing I had been doing is one way that I was dealing with the, um, the grief is I was researching on a lot of the ingredients in our food and how they can cause cancer and other things like diabetes, skin conditions, all of these things, how it's all pretty related. And so I started getting into it and I made a decision after my dad passed that we we're gonna be cutting out highly processed foods. I say we, me and my husband, obviously my children. After my dad passed, there was a season of grieving and, um, but honestly, I really got into wanting to make that switch pretty quickly. It was one of the ways that the Lord helped me to process what was happening. So we threw out a ton of food. We threw out like hot Cheetos. Um, we used to love those powdered donuts that you can buy in the bag. Um, little Debbie snacks, like literally all the junk and not even that some food that you think is really good for you like frozen meals has a lot of processed stuff in it as well canned goods all these kind of things so we really purged a ton of it and we stopped eating out now not 100 percent, but we stopped eating out at like fast food places um main chains i'm not gonna throw any shade but you guys can do your own research come to your own conclusions but there is not much nutrition and a lot of food that you can get from a fast food restaurant. So keep that in mind. <laughs> so we were really just changing the way that we were eating. Um, I started getting deeper into my gardening, growing our own food. We got chickens, all of these things to kind of come back to as close a relationship as we could with food and the way that the Lord gave us kind of in the Garden of Eden is kind of how my thought processing was going. It looks like, how can I get food closest to the source? How can I get it as close to the source as possible? And that's kind of where we went. We created a mini homestead. Um, we cut out hyper-processed foods. We cut out refined sugars, 
all of these things. And guys, in a year, I lost 65 pounds. That is the big secret. That is my biggest secret was cutting out all of those foods. There are some additional things that I did, obviously, but that was the biggest one. We didn't drink sodas anymore. Like we would go to a restaurant or if we did, we go to Chick-fil-A. Not gonna deny that, but we do go to Chick-fil-A once a week, every two weeks. But we stopped getting sodas. And once we did that, the weight really just started falling off. And we did other things. I started working out with my kids. Um, being more active in the garden forced me to move my body and exercise. You know, you're digging, you're shoveling, you're doing all of these things. You're, you're being active, you're exerting energy, you're doing all of these things that are great for your body. So in doing so, I lost 65 pounds in one year. It's just, it was mind blowing. For somebody who has struggled with their weight for decades, really as far back as being a preteen. Um, I've mentioned in a video before, I struggled with the eating disorder and I did not stop eating to lose the 65 pounds. I know that some people will say that and it's very untrue. And the fact that they would say that is very hurtful. And I just pray that they can get their heart in the right place because it's not it. You don't just stop, you can stop eating, but for someone to say that, especially if they knew that you had an eating disorder, it's really not not a good thing, but I didn't stop eating. I actually feel like I was eating more when I started eating healthier foods. But those are the main key ingredients for me in losing 65 pounds. Now, I did have a surgery in February of this year, um, so I hadn't really been exercising and doing as much in the yard and the garden as I had back last year. So. February, I've kind of like slowed down and I'm just now feeling strong enough to where I can start exercising again. So I'm really excited because I'm ready to get my definition back. I can tell that I've gained probably around 10, 15 pounds since February to now just from not moving my body as much. But I wanna share another secret with you guys. I do not weigh myself at all. Okay, I do weigh myself once a year. I weigh myself at my doctor's appointment once a year. And the reason I do that is because I've struggled with an eating disorder and I don't want to be hyper fixated on that number. So if you're doing it once a year, for me, that's the best thing. Because if you do it, especially as a woman, if you're weighing yourself every week, every day, you're going to be fluctuating like crazy and you're going to be hyper fixated on it, worried about it. I know personally, whenever I was like myself daily, that I could fluctuate seven pounds during my menstrual cycle. That's some people a lot of weight. So I don't want to be hyper fixated on that. So one thing I would recommend is ditching the scale, focusing on the way that you feel, your strength, all of those things, unless the doctor recommends focusing on the scale. All right, my last tip is about boundaries. Now, some people are not going to want to hear this and some people are going to get offended in hearing this, but setting healthy boundaries can actually help your physical and mental health. So I'm not gonna go too much into it. I don't feel like this is the time or the place, but it put me and my husband in a better space mentally to be able to cut off the toxicity and focus on healthy things and focus on our health and well-being. So that's one thing I wanna give to you guys as a possibility for you and your journey of getting better physically healthy but also getting better mentally healthy. Now, this whole video is not to brag or anything like that, but I wanna motivate you guys. If you're struggling in your weight loss journey, you're not alone. And there are people that want to truly see you succeed and are there for you. I'm here for you. If you wanna drop something in the comments down below, let me know how your wellness journey is going. I'd love to hear from you. Love to motivate each other in the comments as well. We're a community, let's use it. Use this as a way to inspire and motivate one another. This channel is focusing on things that I am going through in certain seasons of my life. And right now, focusing on my health, wellness, my family's health and wellness is very important to me. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more of that. I'll also be focusing on getting my body stronger after surgery. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of that. But the main thing is I'm gonna be sharing 
about Jesus. You already know if you're a subscriber that that's the whole tone of this channel is Jesus. And I would be lying if I didn't say that the number one reason that I was able to lose 65 pounds in a year wasn't because of him, but it is, it's because of Jesus. The year after my dad died, <laughs> push me closer to him on a different level than I've ever been in my life. I've always been a follower of Jesus. I was baptized when I was 10 years old, accepted him in, as my Lord and Savior. But something happened after my dad died and I became on fire for him. And he really shifted my mentality on a lot of things, restored me and healed me and transformed me. So all of the credit is going to go to Jesus in my weight loss journey. And there's gonna be people that are brought to this channel because of the algorithm or whatever it is, and they're not gonna to like to hear that. They're not going to like hearing that, but it's the truth. I would be being, being dishonest if I didn't share that with you. Getting a closer and deeper relationship with Christ healed parts of me that I didn't even know needed healing. And through that, I was able to grow mentally, spiritually, and physically. So, those are my takeaways in losing 65 pounds in one year. That was last year. We already know I'm probably around 10 pounds heavier, maybe 15, don't weigh myself. But I want to use this as an opportunity to share with you that you can do it. There's nothing that you cannot do. I love you, be kind to one another, love one another. See you in my next video, bye.